Boyce that's joining us on the show right now. Sunil Kanoria, the uh, management of Shrey Infra joins us right here on ET now to talk about the Q3 earnings. Uh, Mr. Kanoria, hi, good afternoon and welcome to the show. Um, just want to understand straight up, uh, there's been a hit on the profitability. Uh, NII has been, uh, have been flat this time around. Talk to us about how the situation is now that the Q3 is over. How are things looking with, uh, with, with uh, you know, in terms of uh, the performance going forward and the uh, liquidity situation? I think, uh, as, I, uh, as we've seen the numbers, till September, the business was doing uh, very strong and we were growing, the, especially our equipment business, which is our key driver, was doing very well. The post the uh, fiasco in the market with ILFS, the December quarter was uh, pretty challenging in terms of new business uh, because the new lines and funding was virtually um, came to a halt in the system. Uh, as because we had certain stringent norms of our ALM, so we didn't face any challenges of our mismatch of liabilities and not being able to pay our liabilities. That was not a challenge. But definitely uh, to source new funding for growth uh, definitely became a challenge. And that is the result of the profitability low and uh, the uh, margins coming down. Uh, well, I see things are improving gradually. Uh, I would say slowly, more particularly when the RBI has allowed this co-lending program. And so our driver is more on the co-lending program presently, uh, where we are partnering with various banks to do uh, co-lending. And that will help us to continue to do business in the markets where we are strong at. But however, uh, definitely, I believe uh, it will take some more time for uh, the evolution to happen. Uh, in terms of things getting back to normal where you can access a uh, continuous source of funding uh, for your growth. But we don't see a challenge in the liquidity in terms of our uh, liability uh, payments. I was coming to that point. So no problem at this point of time, at least when it comes to ALM position and liquidity. Am I right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Because that, uh, that we have been managing for the last 20 years okay. without any mismatches. So we don't see a challenge there at all. Uh, could you comment on the overall net NP and gross NPA position and also uh, which sectors essentially are you seeing stress in? See, basically, as I said, in the equipment finance business, we are not seeing stress, uh, further new stress on new business and all. That's uh, been uh, robust in our equipment financing business because EPC work and all in India and the growth has been very strong. Uh, it is basically in the infra side, again, in the last few years, whatever business we have done, there has been zero cost of risk. It is only the uh, past legacy which is uh, continuing and it uh, may continue for some more quarters. But now we are starting to also see uh, uh, results happening in terms of recoveries, uh, albeit uh, gradually. So we had a few recoveries uh, in the last quarter. We are expecting some more recoveries this quarter as, as we see the resolutions of some of the cases which is uh, there through the IBC process. So that's a strong, uh, good sign which shows that now movement is happening slowly and uh, which we hope that in the next coming quarters we should do some uh, heavy recoveries of the past. Uh, could you also talk to us about, um, you know, uh, uh, the disbursements which have come in lower. There are concerns on the growth. Could you talk to us about the outlook for growth that you're seeing uh, over the near to medium term? As I said, uh, that the market is growing fairly strong. However, the uh, November, December, because we being the dominant player in the equipment financing business, the sales of construction equipment also uh, slow down and definitely that is hurting the economy because it is not that the demand is a problem it is that financing is not being a problem today the entire financial system in the country has virtually come to an halt to my mind and uh, therefore uh, uh, my sense is the capital formation in the country will slow down uh, unless something is done to inject and uh, change this perception of risk, which is uh, very, very high today in the, in the uh, system. So I feel uh, that uh, growth directly on our books will be slow for uh, at least this quarter, uh, unless we see uh, things, uh, the government uh, pushing certain change agendas uh, and strengthening the system more. 
uh, and that's the reason why we will more rely on the co-lending program uh, with the banking system uh, and uh, try and build that up to ensure that uh, we uh, continue to take our market share. But I see overall that uh, sales of equipment will uh, be slower than what it the way it was moving very strong in uh, till September. Mr. Kanoria, we wish you all the very best for that, for both the businesses, and uh, thanks much for taking time out to help us understand what transpired.